Hacking Windows Explorer from 1995. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of Technolust, and this week I'm having so much fun with a little bit of nostalgia. Okay, so last week we talked about alt codes and the way that we could use it in payloads to have fun with ANSI art, and I put out a challenge to develop that into a better payload, and the challenge was accepted by Gatekeeper, who has done some amazing work, and I will link to that below. Uh, and I want to demo that, however, three things. One, it actually seems like Gatekeeper is continuing to work on this payload, and I want to see what they come up with uh, in the next few days. Uh, it works great as it is, and I'll link to it below. Uh, but secondly, I am running short on time. I just got back from Orlando seeing Mubix graduate. Dude, congratulations, Mubix. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm also just about to head over to LA to see Tom Merritt, and when I get back, it's moving. So there's just a lot of moving pieces right now. Next time we see each other, it's going to look a little different around here, which is kind of exciting. But mostly it's because of a comment that I saw from FF Vision that reminded me of this Windows Explorer trick from the mid to late 90s uh, that just has a special place in my heart. And, you know, seeing as it has no practical purpose, but uh, there's an obligation since we're on this little nostalgia kick uh, from the ANSI art stuff. And I figured, hey, what better way to spend the afternoon than showing you guys one of my favorite tricks as a teenager? So I got my Windows 95 VM here booting up. Hey, 24 years later, it's still blue screens. Hacked. All right, so here in Windows 95, let's give this a shot. 24 years later, Windows key R still works. CMD, on the other hand, does not. But command, oh yeah. And so what I'm going to demonstrate here is that we can use the mkdir command to create a new directory. We'll call it test. And voila, here on the C colon backslash Windows backslash desktop, we can actually see, hey, there's our uh, test directory. And there's a very small Explorer window. Wahoo, right? Well, what if we use alt code? So mkdir, and we're just going to use that alt code, alt255. Now, it looked like I did a space. Let's actually use a different alt code, so it's a little bit more obvious. Let's do alt220, right? And so we've got that little blocky character. Well, when we create that, we'll notice that we get a new folder here, but it's an underscore. And when we try to open it, it says that it doesn't exist. Wait, what's going on here? Well, essentially, DOS understands the extended ASCII character set, those characters between 128 and 255, but Windows Explorer only understands the normal ASCII character set, the 0 through 127. So it just displays anything that it doesn't recognize as an underscore. And when we try to open one of those folders in Explorer, it's going to go ahead and just give us this little error. And we can do this by adding extended ASCII to anything. So if we do mkdir test and end it with alt 220, and create that, we're going to go ahead and see that we've got a folder called test underscore that we can't open. But here's the fun thing about this, right? So if you were to hide anything in this folder, you'd never be able to get into it unless, of course, you were to just go ahead and do CD alt 220, right? And we can use this folder just like normal. So if we wanted to, we could like echo 123 into file.txt and there we go, we have a file. However, we can't open it in Explorer still until, in fact, we even can't do Explorer dot, which would open this directory and Explorer is going to complain. But if we come back and do Explorer dot, we're going to go ahead and open up the desktop, no problem. Again, same errors. So how do you get into this folder? Well, real simply, rename alt 220 whatever. And now when we open whatever, there's our test file. Now that's pretty much it, and in just a bit we're going to check in on our Hack5 Gear giveaway, but first let's take a moment to thank our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs, from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. So mad props to FF Vision for reminding me of this oddity. I'm going to be sending you a link to claim your prize of a Hack 5 $100 gift card. And if you'd like to win some awesome Hack 5 gear like a Wi-Fi pineapple or a bash bunny, you can go ahead and just leave a comment. And right now what I'd love to hear about is what kind of retro cool old 95, 98, 9X era hacks do you recall? Uh, full details over at hack5.org contest. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'll see you guys next week. Trust your technolust. <laughs> <laughs>